Well, that's one way to make access to repairing those springs a bit easier. Hi guys, welcome back to the Unlimited Expedition. This week, we're in Kakadu National Park. Check it out. That's right guys, this week we're in Kakadu National Park where we discover ancient landscapes and a rich Aboriginal heritage. We even meet some of the leathery locals which Kakadu is famous for. We finish this expedition with an unplanned visit to Murray River National Park and are very pleasantly surprised. Good morning guys, we're here on the southern fringe of Kakadu. We found a little cheeky spot off the road to camp for last night before we actually enter the national park. The road's up there about 200 meters as you can see. Nice little spot. But last night at about 9.30 p.m. I had a herd of water buffalo come charging through here. I was sitting over there just by myself, Sophie had gone to bed and I absolutely shit my pants. There must have been 20 water buffalo just come banging their way through here. I didn't know what it was. I couldn't see anything in the dark. Anyway, at about 3 a.m. in the morning, the same thing happened. I knew what it was this time, but oof. Today we're headed into the Kakadu National Park and we're going to check out all of the things they got to offer. We've got about five or six days to spend at Kakadu. Really excited about it, so let's check it out. Guys, Gunlom Falls, beautiful spot. The sign of the entrance says something to the effect of saltwater crocodiles come into this area undetected, swim at your own risk. Now, you can see just out here, there is a crocodile. So I'm gonna stay on the bank. So we're gonna go for a walk down to the Alligator River, which is about two and a half k's return. Hopefully we make it, it's bloody hot. I'm sweating like a pig here. Well, here we are guys, East Alligator River. There's only a couple of k's, but I am absolutely drenched with sweat. It is so hot out here. Hot and humid. Anyway, I'm not seeing any crocodiles. Well, I'm on the four-wheel drive only section of road now. It's nothing too challenging, it's just a little bit rough. I've got the gorge all the way along the right hand side here, it's just fantastic. So we're going to push on for a bit and see if we can get to the end here. place called Gimba, the South Alligator River. I think the river's too low really to have any decent sized crops in it at the moment.
All right, guys, we're just getting into Kowinda Yellow Water. Let's see what all this is about. Crocodile Safari. That was probably one of the best $90 I ever spent. That was absolutely fantastic. Yellow water, Kakadu. Brilliant. We just stayed one night here at Jim Jim Billabong. Nice little spot by the river. We're headed to Jim Jim Falls today. It says it's a four wheel drive track down there, so hopefully there's a little bit of action. Well guys, the Jeep's developed a really loud banging noise on the left hand side and I've discovered it's the rock rail. You can see here with this rock rail, it mounts to the chassis body mounts. And it's actually snapped off the studs of the body mount. So it's actually got a head on the top of it that's welded onto a plate. It should look like this with the stud poking through and a nut on it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and drill these studs out. I'm going to try and drill through there and then keep reaming it with a bigger drill bit, both sides. And then I'm going to try and put a bolt from the top down. Well that's worked really quite well. I was able to drill out the centre of the stud and then knock the head off the stud. So. I don't even have the head of the stud remaining. Well, that's a really good solid fix. I'm not going to have to go back to that at all. Unfortunately, guys, the Jim Jim Falls Road, Twin Falls, all of those things down that four-wheel drive track, it's all closed. So, it's a bit of a disappointment. Now we're just going to keep going north and see what else we can find. Sandy Creek Billabong. There'll be a croc or two in there, I'll give you the tip. This is about as close as I'm prepared to get after yesterday's croc tour.
taking her to the fever. I, I, I did it again. Ain't So, Mr. Funkmaster, yo, be, yo, 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 be, yo, 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 Stop in at Mamukula Wetlands Observatory. We just turned off the Arnhem Highway and we're on this track. The track itself, I think, is about 50 or 60 kilometres long. Uh, I know there is one camping ground on the way, um, but I'm not sure what else there is, but so far it looks pretty good. It's a really nice track. It's very corrugated, but uh, plenty of wildlife, uh, a lot of kangaroos, something we haven't really seen too much of in Kakadu until this point. Um, it's also a very green, lush landscape. When we meet up with the old Jim Jim Road, we're going to turn west again and then cut back up to the Arnhem Highway. We're going to go to Mary River National Park for the night, I think, and um, do a few bushwalks, that sort of thing. And after that, who knows? We're really playing it right here at the moment. You can really see the damage that the water buffalo do to this country. It's a shame. All that will be washed away though in the wet season. Well, that looks 
just to go through a few. So we just came up here to Murray River National Park to have a bit of a look on our way through. It looks pretty good. Um, we found these two four-wheel drive tracks, so we're going to give them a go. That's one way to make access to repairing those springs a bit easier. It's just coming along here and stupidly I put one tyre up here and one in the gully and the trailer just couldn't handle the angle. Seems to be alright, the two of us were able to just push it back on its wheels. I got a little bit of damage here at the end of the awning, but that's all. Well that little safari was fantastic guys, absolutely love that. Um, I highly recommend it if you ever come to Murray River National Park in the Northern Territory here. Pity we uh, put the trailer on the side at the end, I can't believe we did that. All the tracks we've done in the last four months and that little basic track puts the trailer on its side. Unbelievable. Anyway, it doesn't seem to be too much damage. So now we're going to try and find a camp for tonight. We've got a few campgrounds in the area. Uh, we'll check them out. We just got out of bed and come down to the river here, do a little bit of a crocodile safari. They're bloody everywhere. You can see we got one right out here. Heads is popping up out there. There's another one just here. And there's one or two over the other side there. Well, here we are guys, first thing in the morning. Fixing up this awning that uh, we bent when we rolled over the trailer onto its side. It's, uh, it's a bit battered and bruised, you can see, but I've managed to straighten the aluminium as much as possible. That'll be fine. Um, none of this will really bother it too much. The big problem's gonna be the pole. So I've managed to straighten this one and it's working pretty well, but the other two, which are actually the legs, which are in the piece of aluminium inside this wrapped up bit of canvas which will be my next job uh, those are going to be difficult to straighten because they're telescopic and any slight bend just causes them to grab but anyway bit by bit so i've drilled out the old rivets just putting some new rivets in now and uh i think we'll be able to salvage that without too much trouble <laughs> 